Ruski Ed here with a lesson about words in Russian that are equivalent to the word put in English. Be sure to pause the video and attempt to translate the sentences before the lesson begins. Ruski Ed, that's my name, and teaching Russian is my game. It's time to go a round or two, cause reading Russian is fun to do. There were only six sample sentences, and so by no means do the words used here exhaust the extensive list of Russian words that put can be translated into. But hopefully, this lesson highlights some of the most likely suspects. So, without further delay, let's examine the first sample sentence. Stavti tachkov kansi predloženia. It means put a period at the end of a sentence. Here we see stavti, which is an imperial form of stavits, and which means to put, place, set, or stand, in addition to other possibilities. Another interesting word in this sentence is tachku, which is a form of tachka, and which means period, dot, or point. The second sample sentence is as follows. Bula trudno opisats jevo muisel slovami. It means it was hard to put his ideas into words. The verb here is opisats, which is a perfective form of opisavats, and which means to describe, among other things. Another word of interest in this sentence is muisel, which means thought or idea. And now for sentence number three. Pazvolti minier. Smor mulirovats vaprus inachi. It means, let me put the question another way. Here we see, svor mulirovats, which is the perfective form of for mulirovats, and which means to formulate. An additional word of interest in this sentence is inachi, which is an adverb which means differently, otherwise, or else. For instance, Inachi govoria means, in other words, and tak ili inachi means one way or another. Next, we have sample sentence four. Ana pera viazala rebunka kalenko. It means she put a bandage on a child's knee. Here, the focus word is pera viazala, which is a form of pera viazats, which is the perfective form of pera viazavats, and which means to tie or to bandage. It should also be noted that in this sentence we use a form of kaleno containing a ka at the end since it is referring to the knee of a child. The suffix ka makes things smaller and so kaleno becomes kalen cool. Moving on to sentence 5 we have On adel chistuyu adeshdu. It means he put on clean clothes. Here the verb is odel, which is a form of odets, which happens to be the perfective form of adivats, and which means to dress or to provide clothes. It should be noted that when putting clothes on one's own body, a form of odets or odivats is used. If one is putting clothes on somebody else, then one would use nadets or nadivats. Also of interest in the sentence is chistuyu, which is a form of chistui, which means clean or tidy. And now for a quick bonus sentence. Zunaya fia polajila monietku pod ivo padushku. It means the tooth fairy put a coin under his pillow. Here the verb is polajila, which is a form of polajits, which interestingly is the perfective form of klast, and which means to put. By the way, the tooth fairy is a western legend, but some Russians have adopted the tradition of placing coins under the pillows of their children and telling their children that the tooth fairy put the coin there in exchange for the tooth. So now here are the focus words for this lesson. Tochka means period. Muiso means idea. Inachi means differently. Peri vyazavats means to tie. And chistui means clean. And that's the end of this lesson. Ruski Ed, signing off. Das Vidanya! Ruski Ed, that's my name. And teaching Russian is my game. It's time to go a round or two. Cause reading Russian is fun to do.